uh, doing the weaponizing your daily Linux driver. Um, as we move through, who am I? My who am I slide. Father, my little guy is straight back there, hanging on his mom. Uh, got a handful of alphabet soups, one of bunch of CTFs, not as many as the SM guys, whatever. <laughs> um, I hack on things, constantly make bad decisions, <laughs> holding you know, wood under a heavy spinning machine. Uh, security engineer at ProCircular, a local security company. Um, president of this, uh, this group, currently. Um, as we move on, Kali, what is Kali? I'm sure most of you guys know this. Um, Kali Linux is a distribution that is an open source project by the Offensive Security Group. Um, they provide world-class uh, information security training and penetration testing services. They also maintain the distribution that's now rolling, so they're doing constant stuff all the time. You can find it at Kali.org. Um, the real question is, why would we be weaponizing our own systems versus just using Kali? And the answer is because Kali is a tool. And why would we do it? It's a terrible idea to use a tool as your daily driver. There's a bunch of different things that we can go into. Um, but just to kind of keep it simple, it's a tool. That's what it's used for. It's designed to be a penetration testing tool. And it is specifically designed for security auditing. So some of the downsides to this is we're running in a single user access. Uh, you have root all the time. You can ruin things really quickly. Uh, uh, network services are disabled by default. So typically you got you know, your one port. You can't really get any more access than that unless you start diving in and configuring things. We're missing stuff like Bluetooth drivers. They're disabled by default. Um, all kinds of stuff. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, drivers. Third-party drivers. Typically you're going to have to compile them yourselves. It gets tedious. So my OS of choice, uh, I'm an OG Debian user, so I use uh, Mint currently, uh, XFCE desktop environment, and mainly because they do great third-party add-on support, so I can get NVIDIA drivers like right off the bat, ready to run. And what we're going to be using today, the specific tool, is Caltoolin. It is a script written in Python 2.7 by a dude goes by LionSuck. Um, that's his his website, uh, it's hosted up on GitHub, and we'll, we'll take a look at that later. Um, but this, this tool is specifically designed to just kind of rip the Kali repos, so you can pull the things that you need off of it and install it quickly, and then kind of ditch the repos, and then keep your operating system running in the back end. Um, it's a nifty tool. I use it constantly. And it makes it easy. As easy as the new EA kiosks. Uh, install <laughs> tips. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, catch up and get square. You know, anytime you're going to start doing new installs on your on your daily driver, be sure to update. Um, what else? Uh, if you're doing this in a VM host for testing, disable your AV because you're installing a bunch of Kali-based stuff. It's wind up going to wind up triggering and blocking things from you. Um, what do we got? Uh, okay, so this is the basic install commands. Uh, sudo su if you're running on you know your daily driver. Uh, everything we're going to be doing from here on out until we hit the tool at the very bottom, we're going to need to be sudoed anyway. So just drop into, into super user now. Um, app install git, we're just going to go ahead and install git if you don't have it currently on your system. Throw that on there. Uh, git clone HTTPS GitHub, this is his, this is exactly where, nah. This is his uh, GitHub repository where he keeps that tool. Uh, and then just kind of copy it into your user bin to tool him. And chmod x, you know, we're making it executable. So let's specify the tool and tool and then launch it. We got a little video here of it. Let it down. Is this going to work? Nope. There you go. It's pretty simple. Straight up, straight easy. Who's Roger? Roger Waters. I was just shot in the dark. I don't know. <laughs> I just threw it in there. Um, but yeah, rip it down. It's a real small uh, five line script because really, again, all you're doing is you're looking for the Kali repos. Get it, clone it in. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we can skip over there. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so now that we have it installed, drop into Ketulin, and you can get rolling with it. Uh, navigation, it's a menu-based GUI, or UI, technically. Um, so uh, as, as we'll see in the next slide, yeah, I didn't jump ahead here. Um, as you'll see in the next slide, it's number-based. You just kind of drop into it and, and throw what you want in there. Uh, oh, we'll get you back. 
or no, I'm sorry, O installs all tools. So as you go through the different um, headers of, of, of the, the um, what's it called? Uh, the menu headers, sorry. Um, you can go through and, and select individual tools, but once we start really listing them out, the, the menus get pretty big. So if you want to just kind of install the whole Kali package on whatever you're running, you can hit zero, just drop right into it. Uh, go back, drops you back uh, a level. Go home, drops you all the way back to the main level. Um, there's some little caveats here, Armitage and Metasploit. We'll, we'll go into that in another slide. Um, and if the tool's missing, so one of the things that, that you, you'll see in, uh, in the demo here is that some of the tools just aren't there. Uh, Spart is one of them. Um, Hashcat doesn't come on the, on the script either. But you can just drop, once you have the headers in there, you can just drop into your command line and, and throw those in as you go. All right, and this is the video for it. That is not the video for it. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, it is. It's just not working. Let's do this. Live demos. Dude. I do what I can. Bear with me, I'm throwing a VM up real quick with it. Do you hear the crickets? You hear the people chewing the, the pretzels in the back there? <laughs> I need the pressure of getting the password out. Differences. All right, there we go. So once you drop in the menu, you get the tool active chmod, throw it in there. Oh, I didn't think about this part. Uh, this is the main menu from here. And again, it's all uh, kind of a, a, a menu driven UI. Uh, once you drop in, first thing you're going to want to do is add your Kali repos, one. And as you can see, it just kind of drops them into your, uh, into, oh, I can't read anything. Uh, into your source list, and then from there you can you can kind of roll. Let me mirror my screens here. Can you tell it's our first menu? Oh, this is probably going to ruin your stuff on that. No, still see it. Yeah, awesome. Now we're talking. I was going to say, it's super tiny now. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, so once you're into the menu system, uh, one on that first menu drops you into uh, adding your repositories. Um, let's get rid of all the garbage there. Add your repositories. It pulls them out from the server, grabs the keys. Probably won't do it because I'm not online here. Um, but tosses those keys back into your source file. And then from there, uh, from there, run an update, option two there. And that's going to go through and it's going to update all of the source list that it just added to your source. Um, from there, we can view our categories. And this is where all the fun stuff is. So all categories, information gathering, vulnerability analysis, uh, forensic tools, really anything, any of the tools that are in the, the Kali distro list or the Kali repo list, you now have access to. 
So, you know, information gathering, if we want to throw in something like, I don't know, Recon NG, plug for Greg's talk, uh, drop in there 39, and it would, you know, read your package list, start doing some updates, yada, yada, yada. I'm not online, so you're not actually going to see that. Um, but again, so, you know, just in, in, uh, in information gathering alone, we're up to 57 packages. Once we start looking at everything, we're up to hundreds. So if, at any time you just want to install the whole suite of packages, just hit zero, and it will run through all of those for you. Um, but really, again, anything that comes default in Cali's here, um, there's a handful of a little things missing, Sparta, um, Hashcat. But again, just pop open another terminal, drop in there, do your AppKit or your YAM or whatever distro you're using, and add it in for you. Um, that's really it. Once you're up and running there. Um, uh, menu indicators is another good one. Um, so, uh, where's the video work? Uh, but what menu menu indicators is going to do? In the UI is probably too small for you guys to see there. Um, is it's going to go through and add all of the lists that Kelly has, kind of mirroring what we have in the, all the categories here, um, along with uh, all the little icons and stuff. It'll kind of throw it all in there for you and wrap the package up, make it look kind of pretty. Um, there's some caveats to that. We'll get to that in the slides coming up here. But that's really the tool. Again, it's really straightforward. You know, you're just kind of slapping around with the UI. That's really it. So when you have to add the menus, does, mm -hmm. it, does it matter if you run a GNOME or KDE or anything like that? Um, depending on which menus you're running, yeah. And I have a couple slides coming up on that. Uh, GNOME 3 seems to be the one that, that works the best. Um, this is a Cinnamon Edition of Mint, so it's running GNOME 3. If I had it live, I could show you. First docs, you know, sorry. Um, control C to exit, shutdown request. So yeah, here we go. Uh, back to those menu indicators. Um, depending on what you're running, it's going to run a risk of kind of wonkifying your desktop environment. It's hit and miss. Uh, GNOME 3 seems, again, seems to be the best one. Uh, Kelly's running a GNOME backend currently, so it seems to work well. Um, dependency triggers. Uh, if you install like Armitage and uh, Metasploit individually of each other, Armitage rewrites over Metasploit's database anyway, so you'll probably have to reinitialize the database. Uh, just a couple commands. It's pretty quick and simple. Down is forward. Um, the real key here is while you have those repos in your source list, do not update. It will destroy your operating system because it's going to try and install all of Kali on top of all of your other sources anyway. So you really need to pull it out. It's a huge pain when you don't. And that's really it. Uh, remove the repos. That's the best thing I can tell you because it it's going to cause headaches. You're just going to have to reinstall. Uh, not real. That's it. Yep. So there you go. I'm on Twitter. There. You can catch me in Slack. I'm always there. And thanks for sitting through. <laughs> they will get better, I promise. Shoot. Have you particular tools that you have used for tools to install, or you have like install all the So I've done the whole install, um, mainly when I was testing, testing things, and I ran into a lot of issues with the desktop environment stuff. Um, so doing the, the individual packages tends to work better. Um, I don't know. John, uh, most of the attack platform stuff, Armitage I've thrown on Mint. Um, and again, Mint's my D. That's kind of, kind of or my, my uh, distro. So that's what I'm running usually. Um, yeah, most of the attack platform stuff, the forensic stuff uh, is a little iffy. And I don't know why. I haven't really had time to dig into that yet. Uh, what else? Sniffing stuff. It'll throw in, you know, Wireshark, no problem. Things like that. Hmm? Any other questions? Do you find a balance? Like, does does are some of those tools in your distro versus in Cali? Like, you'd rather install with your distro or find any, anything like that? Not off the top of my head. Um, I think Nmap's in Mint currently, so you can kind of skip around that. I like Zenmap though. I'm usually scanning tons of targets anyway. 
and it really helps me to kind of iterate through better. Um, but no, not really. One of the huge benefits, though, is if you're doing things like Hashcats or any of the GPU stuff, your DE, your uh, distro that you're running, if you have third party third party drivers installed, you're going to have to skip compiling all of your drivers in Kali. <coughs> it saves a ton of time. It's super helpful. Anything else? No? Go on, let's go on to us. How, how active of a community is there around this application? It's just the script and just that dude. He hasn't updated it in probably six months or so. But all the script is doing, it's just a basic Python script. Good. And all it's doing is pulling the Kali rolling distro and shoving that into your source file. Okay. So you just pull the Kali headers as it goes. And so, go ahead. So it needs to be a Debian based OS and you're chatting on side. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, updates. So yeah, uh, when you have an update to a platform that you want to come back and, and update, drop back into Cat Toolin, add the sources again, run update. That's it. Kill the repos back out of there, and then you're up and running. Anyone else? Last call? All right, cool. That's it. Yay. Yay. <laughs>